Hello YouTube, how are you doing? Today's video might be a bit long, depending on how fast this goes with the presentation. Now, what are you seeing ahead of you? I think you've seen in the last video, two of the coins I bought are pre-2018, so they are milk spotty. Now, these are the bars that I first got a while ago. Sorry, my stand won't seem to cooperate. Now, I made two mistakes here. These are easy to, get, to take off. You see there's a white, there's a white spot right there. You just push out a bit and it unseals. You just take your time. My mistake, I should have put this on the outside. The lines you see are from the plastic. Here's the other one. You can probably see it a bit better. See here? This is from the plastic wrap. And this is the main reason why I wanted to get the plastic containers. Uh, well, capsules, however you want to call it. Now, I've been looking at videos. These are the sets that I bought. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They are all the same year, 2015. And you've seen in the other video, I showed each one. I'm very lucky so far, these are not milking. Now the second mistake I did. So it's supposed to be 31. 0.11 so this is a bit tiny bit heavier this is my new scale just got it today this is my second mistake AccuChef I did ask if it counts in the thousands the salesperson said yes I believe them it doesn't It only weighs to the main. So you see. So I don't know if I should keep this. It wasn't that expensive, but still I'm a bit disappointed. But the purpose of this video is cleaning silver. This is a good example here. Well, fuck that. This is milking. Look at that. That's some pretty bad milking. These are the two coins that I bought separately from the 10. This is pretty bad. See where it says Canada. On top of her head. So those are two examples of pretty bad milking. These are not milking. These are from the scratches from the plastic wrap. These are good. These are the three uncirculated coins I bought directly for the mint. Big difference in shine. I'm never going to open these again. So how do we clean? Do we use car products? Do we use buffers? My stupid chair is squeaky. So we got the buffer. We got the clays, the shines, the polish. I've seen people use this. If you probably noticed my other videos, my channel is mostly for cars and guns. Do I use this? with the steel pins to clean the silver, put them in with the pins. Do I use mechanic hand wash? This is pretty good. This takes off everything grease wise. Do I use this? Heavy duty 
Now this, I made a video on my rusty tools. This works amazing, but it stinks. Pew. And I've been to several different places and no one sells the white cotton inspection gloves. Well, I call them inspection gloves. No one sells them. And on Amazon, they're like 50 bucks. So I just bought a box of mechanic gloves. There are five bucks. This is the tube that came with this, the 10. Now, when I was looking for the gloves, she mentioned that they do not sell the gloves anymore, but she sells this. Use on sterling silver only. Place piece of sterling and let it soak for 10 seconds maximum. Rinse, dry with lint-free cloth. Connoisseurs, jewelry cleaner, silver only. For sterling silver jewelry. Everton, see back. They had, uh, they had one already open. It was a jewelry shop. Mine is brand new, so it's sealed. But when she opened it on the counter, the odor was intense. Yeah. So I'm curious about this, which is why I got gloves. Now these are pretty easy to open. See the little white mark? There you go. There's one right here. These are good, so let's not contaminate these or touch them in any way. Get the white dot. See, no issues. I will clean these after. Now, is there a little flap for this? I don't want to touch the liquid if I don't have to. Now, my mom has lots of silver, as you saw in the demonstration. She uses a white creamy paste, and it's a bottle from the 70s, and it still works. Oh, my eyes are watering. <coughs> it's going through my nose and my mouth. This stuff tastes awful. It smells awful. Don't put your head over it. I have no choice because I gotta I gotta look through the camera and I should uh, it's on my fingers I should have put gloves on so let's put the gloves I got the towel ready actually after the initial after the initial whiff, it smells kind of sweet, like bubblegum. So here's the before. Let's see if I can get a proper light. You can see the milkiness. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Now, I'm just going to wipe my hands. I don't want to get the milky shit. And these are the other set of coins that I bought at the same time at the same place. Slight milking, but I think those are my fingerprints on each side of her head. You never know. So, let's reread the instructions. Use on silver sterling only. Place one piece of sterling in tray. Soak for 10 seconds. Rinse dry with lint free cloth. Everything else is warning signs. I'm trying to reposition my stand. Sorry. Just getting rid of that. Okay, so this is a tray. What is this? Okay, she had this on the side, on the counter. 
Okay. So let's try one. Ten seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow. A few spots left. And this side, a smidge, and I can see tons of scratches that I did not see before. So it's actually showing imperfections. And the smell is not too bad now. My eyes are still watering though. So before it was on the Canada, I can still see a few lines underneath the C-A-N. I'm looking at them, yeah, still there. So let's try more than 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, agitate it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. It does say rinse. I'm going to go and rinse this. But because of the toxicity, I'm not going to move the camera. I'll be right back. All right, so I rinsed it, warm water, pat dry. I'm gonna, I rinsed also my tips of my gloves. Just gonna dry that now. Let's see what we can see. Wow. If you ask me, they were on the sides before. Ah, crap. Still, it's a lot shinier. What you can see around Canada. So over here. In here. So what do you think? Oh, you know what? The more it's drying out, it's coming back. Can you see it? It's literally coming back. This is, yeah. On the right side, on the top. Yeah, there's more now here. And now it's starting to come back on the bottom. So was that a scan? Should I go return back to scale and this? Uh, hold on. This is at Walmart. Yeah, the scale of 33 bucks and the cleaner 7 bucks. I think that was a waste. 
I better go close the thing. <laughs> 